this video from Sam4S help. We're taking a detailed look at um, how you can program the no sale button um, to work in different ways. So if you're after just making the button inactive, don't watch this video, scroll to the very end and I've got a link to a video showing you how to make the button inactive so it stops people being able to just randomly do no sales and open the drawer. What I'm going to try and do in this video is at the end of the video I'll show you how to make it only work in the X mode. So obviously the problem with the button at the moment in the default operation you can just be in the register mode, press the no sale button here and then the cash drawer fires open so you've got um, access to the drawer and obviously the money inside without process and sales transaction. Um, but you can set the button to be inactive which I've done in a very short video, which as I say, there's a link to at the end of this video, but you can also make the button only work in the X mode. So obviously the theory behind that is that the manager has the X key and the operators or cashiers only have the reg mode, so only a manager can do a no sale. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video, but I'm also gonna try and demystify the manual a bit. So we get a lot of messages and emails from people saying the manual makes no sense. Um, but what you've got to understand, this sort of machine was designed, um, it's a traditional cash register designed um, before the internet really, so this, this type of machine, the premise of them is that they are sold, um, programmed, supplied and um, supported by traditional cash register dealers. Um, so they are people that would come out to your business, um, discuss your exact requirements, um, sell you a register but also take away your menu, understand what your business needed, program the till and then come back and um, deliver the till, train you on how to use it and then also support it. So the, the manual, the only manual that's supplied with this sort of machine is written for that type of uh, the trade, the cash register dealer themselves. So obviously what's happened now is the internet's come along and skewed that a bit. So we've got people um, selling these registers online, um, people getting them secondhand from auction sites, that sort of thing. And then if you're using this quite complicated piece of kit and then trying to program it, some of the little nuances are lost. Um, you've got to understand the manual is not written for end users. Um, you could argue the toss as to whether it should or shouldn't be, but the fact of the matter is it isn't. So if we take a look at this manual, so this is actually so this is actually for an older machine, it's for a 5200 machine, but the programming protocols on SAM 4S machines haven't changed in that long. So the programming protocol here for the no sale button for a 5200 is exactly the same it is on the 900. So I should explain a bit about the machine in front of me. This is from the ER900 series. It's actually the 940, it's the specific model I'm working on, but all the programming will be the same across the range. So if you've got 920, which is the same as this machine, but only has one printer, you can follow this video exactly. So what the manual is trying to tell you is in the program mode you can program the no sale button to work in different ways. So at the end of the video I'm going to type in 70 subtotal, punch in some numbers, press the no sale button and then also press the cash button. But I just want you to understand I haven't just grab those numbers out of the ether or know them. I've had to look them up and work it out um, using the chart in the manual. So 70 subtotal, N1, N2, N3, N4, N1 to 4 are all worked out from this chart here. So no sale is inactive. Um, because we want the button to work, but work only in the X mode, we want the button to be active. So that value would be zero. No sale active in X control position only. Yes, so that value would be two. No sale inactive after non-add hash entry. So this is where it starts getting really complicated because the no sale button is also the non-add reference number button um, where you can add a random number, um, assign a number to a bill or a receipt. I'm kind of going to ignore this in this video because otherwise this video is going to be about three hours long. I'll do a separate video where we look at the no um, the non-add reference number side of the button. In this video, I'll treat the button purely as a no sale button. Um, so a lot of the other things aren't really relevant to the no sale function. So if you use, we've, we've decided that N1 is two because we want it active and to work in the X lock, in the X control lock position only. The other settings are all at zero. If you think, if you're ever struggling with interpreting these in the SAM 4S tills, the, Z, uh, the default programming is always zero. So if you ever want to reset a button back to the default, you just follow this and put it all to zero.
Okay, I hope that made a bit of sense. Um, but if it didn't, this is how to put it into um, how to put the no sale button to work only in the X mode. So key to PGM position. So you need the metal key marked P, and you need to turn it around to PGM. So it says program mode on the display. We then follow the flow chart. So it's 70 subtotal. Function status appears on the display, and then we're going to punch in our code, which I've worked out to be two, followed by three zeros. So you press them here on the number keypad, two, zero, zero, zero. Then you press the button that we're programming, so the hash NS button. Mine's marked as no sale. And then you press the cache button to finish. You get a little printout confirming what you've done. So it says no sale. And then the new status you've put into the button, that's all you're doing is changing the status of the button. So now if you turn the key back to reg and press no sale, you get warning X mode only. So you can clear that. And if you've got access to the X key, X mode key, you turn it to manager mode or X mode and manager mode is displayed on the screen. And then you press no sale and the drawer opens. If you want to reset the button, as I said, so you don't, you've misprogrammed it or you decide you just want to put it back to default. It's 70 subtotal in the program mode. One, two, three, four zeros, the no sale button, and then cash. If you test that in the reg mode, you'll then go no sale and it works as fine. Um, and then I'll have a video appearing on screen now showing you how to totally deactivate it. But I just want to put mine back into um, working in X mode only, so P mode, 70 subtotal, two, three zeros, the button, the cache, back to reg, and then it says warning, X mode only. Okay, I hope that video's um, been helpful and wasn't too um, full of cash register jargon. Uh, we've got plenty of other videos appearing on screen now, including the one showing you how to make the button inactive, so that's where it doesn't work at all, regardless what mode you're in. So you can check that out. Check out all our other videos appearing on screen now, and you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.